Right here, what we're doing is testing populations of the potato psyllids from all over Texas where potatoes are grown. We collected these populations last year and are continually collecting them as we're finding them in Texas. What we're doing is testing their susceptibility to uh, a widely used group of insecticides called neonicotinoids. Neonicotinoids have been used very successfully in managing these insects for a long time. The issue we're having right now is because this, uh, the insecticides are not um, regulated as well down in Mexico as they are in the United States. What we're seeing is issues with resistance to neonicotinoids popping out, especially down in the valley and then moving up. These, um, these insects come up from, from the south, so they probably migrate from Mexico up to the valley, and once the production stops in the valley, they move up north. We also have some populations of wintering around here, so we actually have a mix of psyllids that are coming up from the south and are resident all over Texas as well. So what we're doing is an experiment in the greenhouse. We're exposing plants to neonicotinoid, insect neonicotinoid insecticides, the way they would have been treated in the field. And then we're taking our psyllids from the colonies kept in the greenhouse from different regions in Texas and exposing them to those plants in order to measure if these insecticides can still kill um, the potato psyllids. So what we're looking for is basically 100% mortality. Because the psyllids um, feed uh, on the plants continually and they, they, they require uh, they have to feed for a very short period of time in order to uh, transmit the disease that they carry, the zebra chip disease, to potatoes. What we want is basically complete control, so that's what we're looking for. We're measuring that right now with neonicotinoids, and once we're done with those tests, we're going to also test different insecticides in order to figure out what producers can use if the neonicotinoids are no longer effective in their region. Um, we have colonies, as I said, here from all over Texas. We collected them last year, and we're going to be continuing this testing and collection. Um, it's going to be an ongoing project in order to provide producers with basically customized um, uh, recommendations based on their region where we collected the psyllids and help them manage them successfully.